Welcome to the APB recap for last week. The show is coming on my stream channel, link down below. But before we get to that, let's talk about last week. Well, it seems like I'm not the only one that got hacked. Indonesia got hacked pretty big in the past couple of weeks. A hacker named Bjorka has hacked all sorts of stuff from Indonesia. And oh boy, guys, you are in for a treat. Seriously, check this out. First, they hacked registered SIM cards of about 1.3 million people in Indonesia. That's right, 1.3 million of SIM card data, which includes all sorts of personal information. The hacker in question hacked the Indonesian Ministry of Communication and Information Technology, aka Cominfo. Cominfo told the public that the data being stored in the government is totally safe, guys. It won't get breached at all. But when it did, they shifted the blame to the SIM card operators and told them to be responsible for the breach. It's basically this. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. But don't worry guys, the story gets worse. And also, <laughs> funnier. Knowing that there's a big threat towards Indonesia's cybersecurity, what was the response from the ministry? Uh, hacker? Please don't hack. <laughs> Please don't hack. It's illegal. And it destroys people's lives. <laughs> I expect nothing. And I'm still let down. No, really. That's their response. I wish I was making that up. <laughs> they basically go, hacker, no hacking. Hacker, no hacking. And the hacker immediately responded with, stop being an idiot. <laughs> Well, what do you say after that one? Brutal, savage, wrecked. Absolutely taken down. But then... <laughs> it gets worse. The hacker managed to dox the private information of Indonesia's common info minister and even taunting him saying happy birthday because he was hacked on his birthday. This is also happening alongside Indonesia's citizenship database, which contains about 105 million worth of data that got hacked from the election database. But don't worry, guys. <laughs> it gets worse. The Indonesian government said that they have identified the hacker but they didn't. They actually caught the wrong person. The hacker promised to hack the Indonesian president, and they did. About 679,000 files of transaction of letters and documents to the president was leaked. The most surprising thing about all of this news is that there are lots, and I mean lots of people, who are siding with the hacker. I'm with you, buddy. Screw that guy. That's right. There are lots of people who are siding with the hacker in question. It doesn't really matter that the hacker breached through all sorts of national security and leaked all sorts of classified information. What matters is that the digital security of my country is absolutely garbage. And I mean garbage. The National Army's Twitter account got hacked. I wish I was kidding. It really did get hacked. Not by the same hacker, but still. So when the hacker practically demolished a lot of Indonesia's government cybersecurity, this is what happened. <laughs> There's a copy pasta that's going on the internet for a couple of days. This is the original tweet that generated the copy pasta and it's really stupid. I love this photo because it invokes primal reactions in people. They are the couple everyone wishes they were in high school. Uh it's it's just a couple kissing. I mean, even if I'm single, which I am not, I still wouldn't have this primal reaction you were talking about. I wasn't really interested in finding girls or kissing girls in high school. I'm only interested in playing games and survive high school. Because what do you know, high school is very difficult. The thing that really makes people upset about this photo is how effortless it all is. These two are born into success. Neither had to work hard to become who they are. They just are. They're an unreachable ideal to most. Yet they are so without effort, rage invoking. <laughs> okay, if you're one of those people who think that relationships don't need work, it will fail. Maybe you don't need work getting a relationship. That's possible. But maintaining one is not easy. In fact, if you believe that your relationship is not that hard to maintain, that relationship will fail. 
I can guarantee that. I'm just saying, dude, if you're going to brag about the fact that you have a good relationship, you want to rub that crap all to the insults in the world, you are projecting an insane amount of insecurity and the needs to be validated. Congratulations, you kissed a girl in high school. Let me know when you get a genuinely happy marriage that doesn't end in divorce. Speaking of relationships, just a bit of warning, guys. Relationships will especially fail when you decide to date e-girls. If you think that you can get a good and loving relationship with an e-girl, you're wrong and you're an idiot. I mean, there are exceptions, of course, but for the majority of you, you can't handle it. You can't. Trust me, you can't. And it's especially wrong if you think that the e-girl you're simping over is your high school crush. That's what this person was trying to do, which is to pay money for his high school crush's OnlyFans account. Yeah, you know what? This is the kind of person that the previous post was talking about. This is the kind of incel that the other person was trying to shame. Both of y'all should be ashamed of yourselves, seriously. You need to seek professional help. Again, if you genuinely believe that you can get into the e-girls' panties by paying their OnlyFans, you're not paying for a happy and loving relationship. You're paying for the internet's equivalent of a sex worker, which is fine if you're only looking forward to sex. But having lots of sex doesn't always mean genuine emotional fulfillment in the same way having big houses and loads and loads of cars also equal emotional fulfillment, which is unfortunately what a lot of people expected. Nothing that goes in OnlyFans would lead you into an actual serious relationship. Getting sex is easy as long as you got the money. Getting a genuinely loving and caring relationship is not easy. Maintaining one is not easy. Especially if your girl is showing her titties and pussies in the public online space all the time. Do you believe that there is a community of people online that will tell you to stop doing hobbies that you love for completely arbitrary reasons? This person, for example, tells people to stop playing video games and stop posting Doom Guy memes because you're all letting them down. Uh. Who? I mean, seriously, who the hell are you? Why do we need to please you? Video games are cringe, nothing but simulated achievement. You play five hours and you achieve nothing in the real world. That's right, nothing is achieved in the five hours you play in that game aside from, you know, Genuine happiness. I know, shocking. People being happy from playing video games. It's a really novel concept for a lot of the non-gamers out there. Could have read a short book in that time or done some exercise. Oh yes, I have been reading short books. And exercise too. I've been doing that more every morning, losing more and more pounds and feeling stronger and stronger. Certain books managed to motivate me in some way or the other. And even after all of that, I still play games because games are fun and I'm a responsible adult who can manage my time properly. The internet is a really harsh place and people pretty much know about that already. But there are some individuals who believe that things can be better, which don't get me wrong, it can be, but there are some things that you just simply cannot change. This person, for example, says the internet is mean, get over it, is an age old saying. But since the internet is 100% integrated itself into the fabric of the real world, for the better or worse, they felt uncomfortable continuing to normalize that lack of empathy in the digital space. I think you misunderstood the statement. We're not normalizing the lack of empathy in the digital space. We're simply telling you how it is. In the same way that we say the world is a cruel and dangerous place to live in. Because it is a cruel and dangerous place to live in. You can't trust anybody at all. And we cannot just simply say, haters stop hating. Haters stop hating. They will just keep on rolling and hating. Indonesian government. The person continues by saying that the internet is necessary. Computer literacy is a necessity in order to participate in all sorts of things. I've said this repeatedly and I'm gonna say it again. There is a surprising amount of people who don't know how to use a file explorer. Even Zoomers. So don't expect them to be computer literate anytime soon. They're just gonna do whatever they like. The person says that normalizing online cruelty is why doxing is a rampant problem. No, doxing is a rampant problem because people who are cruel exist in this world and they are online, not because we are normalizing online cruelty. Everyone says that doxing is bad in the same way everyone says that murder is bad. And yet we still have people who do them. It's almost as if human beings aren't really nice people. 
The person said, just because the other person are mean doesn't mean you can be too. That I 100% agree. We have to try to be better than those people. But unfortunately, those people will still exist because again, not all human beings are born nice. That's just how it is. We are very cruel and unforgiving creatures. This person is, I don't know mad at something right-wing people get mad as fuck when you tell them anime hates them though <laughs> okay first off wherever you are in the political spectrum you do not let your own political stance affect your opinion on fiction otherwise you're not judging the fictional content fairly so if you look at anime and think this anime is too left-wing this anime is too right-wing for me i won't watch it I think you need to step away from political discourses for a bit. They think Konosuba kids want to be their friend. <laughs> Which Konosuba kids? These ones? <laughs> Nobody cool in Naruto thinks being awful to immigrants is hype, you sociopath. <laughs> Everyone in Naruto would disagree with you. <laughs> there are loads of people in Naruto that are straight up awful and xenophobic to immigrants or people who are not from their own village. Even people from Konoha. You clearly have not seen the anime or read the manga. Asuka ain't gonna fuck you because she ain't real. <laughs> no, she's not gonna fuck you because you have a shit taste. Shotakon Onechan forever. Anyway, die alone. Shield hero fetishizes slavery. Go fuck yourselves. Wow. You're mad, bro. You're really mad. I think this is you right now. All right, everybody, keep your cool. And that's all for the recap today. Reminder that the latest ABB show is coming up on my stream channel, link down below. So please go ahead and subscribe. Thank you so much for all the support and donation, guys. If you'd like to help out this channel, or if you'd like to see your name on the spot, $1 is all you need. Links down below. Thank you so much to these amazing and wonderful people. That's all for the video today. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.